Earlier on to Kiminini Lomeka, who is now the Ford Kenya Acting Secretary General. Let's listen in to that interview now. Mwishmiwa Chris Wamalwa, thank you for making time for us this evening on Spotlight. Uh, tonight, let me ask you the very basic of questions. Who tonight is the party leader of Ford Kenya, Kenya's second oldest political party as of now? The party leader of uh, Ford the Kenya, of, uh, Ford Kenya is still Mo Senator Moses Masika Wetangula. The purported coup was fraudulent, it is uh, illegal, and it is null and void. So the recognized party leader is none other than Senator Moses Masika recognized, Wetangula. Recognized by who? The neck? Recognized by the law when you got the register of political parties, recognized by the party organs, those who are there today, the purported coup, it never Kwa followed Mnini the new process. Who has been fronted by, unanimously by the National Executive Council of Ford Kenya. That was, the, that was not the National Executive Council of Ford Kenya. Those were fraudulent uh, people that they went picking in the streets, some of them who are the employees, some of them who work in the county government. So it is not. And uh, I don't think when you look at the fiscal looks of Wamunyini, does he suit to be any party leader? Even the morphology, when you look at him, he doesn't have the demeanor and whatever the case, and he's not the party leader of Ford Kenya. Whatever they tried to do, it was an illegality. And it was fraudulent. Down and unanimously agreed to overhaul the leadership of the party. First of all, you need to know the National Executive Council, as per our constitution, has no powers. Has no powers to remove the party leader. The party leader removal can only be done by the NDC, the National Delegates Council. So, first and foremost, as I said. Ford Kenya is not a kangaroo party. It is a party that has structures. It is a party that has the constitution. So the purported NEC, NEC has under our, our party constitution, NEC has no powers to remove the party leader. We start from there. Secondly, what they could... What I, what I wanted to bring to bring the attention to you is that uh, Ford Kenya is not a kangaroo party. Ford Kenya is the second oldest party after Kanu. So Ford Kenya has structures. So whatever was convened today, first before you, you, you have a National Executive Council meeting, you must give a notice. There's no notice that was given. When you look at our constitution, the National Executive Council is composed of the PG, the members of parliament. As I speak, I've been serving as the, the chief whip of the PG. When Honorable Ferdinand Wanyonyi went to that meeting, he was kicked out. He's a member of parliament. How many members of parliament were there? Let's start from there. So this was fraudulent, was it was no legitimate, and there was no NEC at that time. All right, the party has 13 lawmakers, two governors, one senator, 85 MCAs. Uh, how many of these attended the yes. neck that fought back with uh, the party leader at 1 p.m. in a press briefing? Today, today, to, today, today, Ford Kenya has 13 members of parliament, and today you had 11, 11 members of parliament. The two who we kicked out, Honorable Eseli, and uh, Omunyini were in the other parallel, uh, the other parallel meeting. So, in terms of composition, if you look at the parliamentary group, we realize that us who are with the Honorable Senator Moses Masika Wetangula, mm -hmm. we were eleven, mm -hmm. and the purported coup, they had only two. Mm -hmm. So you can answer yourself and see which side has the weight. Fair enough. Uh, the party leader is proverbially known for his words in the Senate being. It will be messy, noisy, and casualty in reference to the, uh, him being de-whipped two years ago. Is it being noisy in Ford Kenya now? The messy uh, uh, phrase was used in the context of NASA. 
And in today, the context of what has happened affair, today, and in the was, context of what has happened today, is it messy and noisy in Ford Kenya, your own party? No, no, no. I cannot say that. I'm mm -hmm. saying this because first and foremost, that reference of the phrase was used during the time of uh, of NASA, because as you know, NASA is composed of Ford Kenya. ODM, mm -hmm. WIPA, and ANC. As you can see, whatever has been happening in NASA, it has been messy and noisy and with the casualties. Mm -hmm. But what happened today, these were the frontline people who wanted to snatch the leadership of the party from the back door for their own selfish interests. Mm -hmm. But lucky enough, Fort Kenya as a party, in its wisdom with their laid down structures, they had organized for a National Executive Council meeting, which had been given a notice and today, we held a National Executive Council meeting at our party headquarters. Mm -hmm. If you look at the venue that these people had, they went to a hotel. Mm -hmm. We held our meeting at our legitimate registered office. So from there, you can see who were frontline in this case. Earlier on, you said members were not invited for the next meeting that... Uh, fronted Wafula Wamunyini. Let's talk of the next meeting that was attended by the party leader, uh, Moses Masika Watangula. Were members invited for that meeting? The Wamunyini faction, as I mentioned earlier on, when you look at the party constitution, the composition of National Executive Council, the parliamentary group is one of the main organ. And we as parliamentarians, we were not invited. Mm -hmm. And that's why when we were having our own meeting, at the party headquarter, Honorable Ferdinand Wanyonyi, who is a member of parliament for, for Kwanzaa in Transoya County, mm -hmm. who is a member of the OPG, went there, but he was not allowed to go in. Mm -hmm. So in other words, they had only tried to bring people who are not part of the NEC for their own selfish interests. Those were imposters. Some of the people who are there are the officials who work in the county government mm -hmm. of Bungoma County. You but the one we had at, uh, at, uh, Fort Ke at the Fort Kenya headquarters, mm -hmm. a notice had clearly been given by our executive director, Honre Bonamsule, mm -hmm. who was present in today's NEC. And we had the resolutions which we affirmed that our party leadership is under none other than Senator Moses Masika Wetangula, the deputy party leader, Mwishimia Onyonga, mm -hmm. whom they tried to to induce, but he refused. He was not there. And was it and out today, of, uh, was it out of General, coincidence uh, that these two parallel neck meetings were happening on the same day or one was a reaction to the other? Just to be clear. Our, our neck had been given a notice. Mm -hmm. And when they realized that we've given a notice, they are the ones who purported to come up with a parallel one. So in terms of legitimacy, Ours was the legitimate, mm -hmm. looking at the numbers and the people who attended, who are the legitimate members of the NEC. But as opposed to the other side, you realize recently there was a meeting at, uh, at, uh, in Kajado. Mm -hmm. You remember there was that meeting in Kajado? Yes. Where people lied and they say there were 40 members of parliament. We were not there. Mm -hmm. People came in with their PS and their security officers and they counted the number 40s. When it comes to the leadership of Mlembe Nation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Moshimua, I, earlier on in a press briefing, you said, and I quote, this is not a Bungoma party. Given that what the senator is accused of is failing to, quote, make the party a symbol of national unity and failing to champion the party's campaign to unite the country. How ironical is it that members like you say this is a national party, but members of the party equally say it looks as though it doesn't have a national feeling. In Bungoma County, mm -hmm. the party leader, our current party leader, Senator Moses Masika Wetangula, is the senator of Bungoma. Mm -hmm. The former Secretary General, Honorable Beseli, is a member of Parliament of Tongareni, which is in Transoya County. This party is not a Bungoma affair. Mm -hmm. This party is a national party, mm -hmm. and Chris Wamalwa, I'm a member of parliament for Kiminini in Transoya County. Then why are party We have members our national Kenya treasurer, our, are, ne our national... Let me ask you, why are Ford Kenya party members then accusing the party leader 
of failing to make the party a national party. This party is a national party, and I was going to demonstrate mm -hmm. how it is a national party. Go ahead. When you look at the treasurer of the party, mm -hmm. Honorable Nazra, Honorable Nazra is from Wajia County. Mm -hmm. She's the treasurer of the party. The organizing secretary is Honorable Mandumandu, mm -hmm. who is from Busia County. Our chairman of the party is Honorable Ruhu. Mm -hmm. Ruhu comes from Tana River County. Mm -hmm. Fort Kenya has members of parliament across the nation. Mm -hmm. We have the MP Harry Bai, who is an MP from Tana River. Mm -hmm. He's a member of parliament for Fort Kenya. Mm -hmm. We have Honorable Kemosa Vincent, who is the MP for West Mungiramgo, mm -hmm. which is in Nyamira County. Mm -hmm. We have our deputy party leader, who is Honorable Richard Onyonga. He's an MP from Kisi County. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes, I can hear We you. have Honorable Ferdinand Wanyonyi. Mm -hmm. Honorable Ferdinand Wanyonyi, MP for Kwanza. Mm -hmm. He comes from Transoya County. Mm -hmm. But, can but you how, hear much, me? how much of Bungoma's inner political uh, turbulence is coming forth to the party itself? How much of Bungoma politics is affecting the national leadership of the party then? Bungoma, there are people scrambling for positions in the party. Mm -hmm. All of them coming from Bungoma, thinking for the Kenya is a Bungoma affair. Mm -hmm. And like us people of Transoya, in Transoya County, we have more supporters of uh, Ford Kenya compared to the entire county mm -hmm. as opposed to Bungoma County. Mm -hmm. When you come to Transoya County, the governor in Transoya County is from Ford Kenya. Mm -hmm. In the last parliament, in the last term of 2013, the current governor was still the governor who comes from Transoya County. So you can see Transoya County, the governors for both, uh, both, both terms comes from Transoya County. Mm -hmm. Myself, I've been a member of parliament for community in Transoya County. I'm doing my second term. Mm -hmm. Honorable Ferdinand Wanyonyi, then before Kwanza, he's doing his second term. The former senator, the senator we had on Ndiema in mm -hmm. Transoya, was from Ford, Kenya. So you can see in terms of support, yes. you find that Transoya County in terms of percentage, mm -hmm. it is way ahead of Bungoma. All but right. you have masqueraders like uh, Honorable Munyinyi who think that Bungoma County owns Fort Kenya. This is a national party mm -hmm. and they should allow other members All right. also the, to show the, their interest so that they can be elected have, to lead this party. Moshmira, in this interview you have twice quoted uh, the coup plotters. Do you know who specifically these coup plotters are in the party? The coup plotters, the ones we know, mm -hmm. it is Honorable Eseli Simiu, Honorable Munyinyi, and the governor of Bungoma, Governor Wangama. But we are told they are the external forces mm -hmm. because the way things were arranged, the way it was being done, it's only a fool mm -hmm. who cannot imagine. But it's obvious that there's an external force coming from outside who want to divide this party. Which but begs the question, them, which begs the question how much of an, which begs the question how much of an outside politics then from be it NASA or national politics is having a hand in, in the discourse in the party. I'll not be able to know I'll not be able to know to what extent. Mm -hmm. But from the look of things, looking at the way these people had a chartered plan. A chartered plane coming from Mombasa, a chartered plane coming from Kisumu, it is not a cheap matter. Mm -hmm. And right now, in terms of COVID, who cleared these people to travel? Mm -hmm. As we are in Nairobi, we know very well, we have the restrictions. How was the clearance done? The, our airspace have been locked. How did they manage to fly to Kisumu mm -hmm. to bring delegates from Western region mm -hmm. and to fly to, to Mombasa to bring fake delegates? All right, These one are the final, we ask one final question. When you, look, party when, you look, is, when you when you look when you look one final when you look at the, the amount of money is accused of be, fiddling in the tw 2017 party nominations. How much of this is true? Ford Kenya, as I told you, is a well organized and structured party. Mm -hmm. The party leader is not involved in nominations. Mm -hmm. We had a nomination board, who was which was being chaired by uh, 
by an advocate with the more than 20 years of experience but listen to what he is accused of he is accused of having interfered and, and the party's we, 2017 and, and, nomination process that cost for Kenya parliamentary seats and failing to reconcile warring parties to eliminate friction these are damning allegations aren't they you're saying he didn't have a hand they are saying he had a hand as i told you as a party we have structures when it comes to matters of nomination mm -hmm. it is not the party leader it is a nomination board which was there, which was passed, approved by the NEC. It was the one in charge. And we had an opportunity whereby we had grievances or so. We had an, we had an appeals board, which mm -hmm. was being also chaired by somebody with the qualification of the judge of the high court. So these were compet competent bodies which were there to handle mm -hmm. matters of nomination. Senator Moses was Kawetangula. Uh -huh. At no given time did he interfere with the nominations of the candidates. That and is why, where, that if, is if he did not interfere, why is he being accused of planting his favorites within the party nomination process? As I told you, whatever, hello? As yes. I told you earlier, these were fraudsters. These are the people who wanted to snatch leadership from the back door. So they come up with all allegations. But whatever the allegations they come up with, all was false. Some of them could not even have made it to parliament. Mm -hmm. People like uh, Wamunyini coming to parliament was difficult. Mm -hmm. It forced party leader to go there to hold him like a baby for him to come oh, back. All right, I understand we are out of time. Eseri, the I understand we are out of time. Weshimiwa, nonetheless, you are the acting secretary general of the party tonight, aren't you? At least as per what Moses uh, Watangula, as we speak the party right leader, now, read out. I'm the, I'm the act. I'm the acting secretary general of the party mm -hmm. as per today's next resolutions mm -hmm. awaiting ratification by the NDC. Mm -hmm. And the work has begun. And what we had happens a to the other secretary, secretary general, general, the spokesperson of the party. And what happens to the, uh, the other uh, secretary general who was in a position ratified by the national delegates? That one was moribund. Even when he passes, nobody knows he's a secretary general. The secretary general, you're supposed to be vibrant. You're supposed to be spoke, spokesperson of the party to articulate the issues of the party. Mm -hmm. This has let the party down. It is not the work of the, of the party leader to articulate issues of the party. Mm -hmm. He has been moribund. He's the one responsible for this performance. And I want to invite you, in the next few months, mm -hmm. you are going to see the changes in this party under my leadership as Chris Wamalwa. All right, Chris Wamalwa, Kiminini Lawmaker, thank you for making time for us tonight here on TV 47. All right.